Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jengku Duo. In this video, we are going to look at chapter 11, Stars and Galaxies in the Universe. This video, Jengku Duo will only discuss about stars and galaxies. What are they and what are some of the characteristics? What is galaxy? Galaxy is a set of bodies consisting of millions of stars with gas and dust particles. In other words, galaxy means many, many, many stars gathered together. How many of them? Millions of them. Galaxies can come in many forms. So the three different forms of galaxies that we'll look into is spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, and also irregular galaxies. Let's look at some pictures. This is a spiral galaxy. It looks like a spinning top. Some of the examples of spiral galaxy that the scientists have identified will be Andromeda and the Milky Way. This is elliptical galaxy. It looks like a plate. And some of the examples that we have identified will be Ursa Major and also Messier 87. Look at how beautiful that is. This is an irregular galaxy. Look at it. It does not really have a particular shape, but it is still very beautiful, isn't it? Some of the example of irregular galaxy will be small Magellanic cloud and also large Magellanic cloud. So where are we? Are we living in one of those galaxies? Or are we at somewhere else in the universe? Our solar system is actually located in one of the galaxy. The name of our galaxy is called the Milky Way. Look at this picture. What type of galaxy is the Milky Way? It is a spiral galaxy. And Milky Way is considered one of the medium large spiral galaxy. It's not very huge, but it is medium large. Our solar system is at the edge of one of the spiral arms somewhere here, as you can see. And this is our solar system. Here's our Mother Earth, and this is the Sun. The Milky Way has approximately around 200 billion stars. And our sun, the sun is only one of them. Can you ima imagine how big a galaxy can be? And that is only one galaxy. How about the whole universe that consists of many, many other galaxies? Here, Jekudyo would like to show you what are some of the characteristics of a stars that can be used for us to classify them. First, we can classify them by their color, size, distance, brightness, or temperature. The color and the temperature of the star are actually interrelated. As you can see from this table, okay, when the color of a star is towards red color, it is actually of lower temperature compared to a star that is blue so the hotter the star is the more blue color you will see on that star so from the highest temperature to the lowest temperature of a star we can see the change of color from blue whitish blue white then it will slowly go into yellow orange and finally the red so here, are, here, here is a clue of the temperature of the star. If you can see the star compared to star, if the color is more towards red, that means that that star will probably have a lower temperature compared to a star that looks more towards blue color. All right? So that's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you in the coming videos about the birth and the death of a star. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.